Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy JP Productions, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. Do me a favor, before I get into this video, please, please, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and share the channel because we are the latest channel on the tube, and that's just straight facts. Alright, enough promo. Let's get to the video, shall we? For today's video, I'm going to be going over a defensive hack that you can do to get more steals and get more turnovers for your opponent. The technique is called the swipe steal. Many of you guys probably haven't even heard of it before, but you've probably witnessed it or seen it happen before, but wasn't aware of how it was done. Trust me. To this day, I'll get the ball taken from me with this, but that's why you gotta be careful. It happens to all of us. Now, if I were to coach you and I told you, go ahead and steal that ball from me, you will automatically come up to me and try to steal the ball by using one hand and swiping at the ball, right? Which is fine, but this is a bit different. The swipe steal is when a player swipes downward at the ball whenever a player is getting ready to get into their shooting motion or getting up for a layup or possible dunk. Watch how Iguodala waits until he sees his ball handler bring the ball up to a certain spot before making a swipe at the ball. As a player playing on the defensive end, it's good to know our opponent's tendencies and their go-tos, but if not, that's okay. But here's one thing that almost every hooper does when it comes to shooting a jump shot and going up for a layup. They always tend to bring the ball down before going up, and even if they miss the moment of swiping when they bring the ball down, that's okay. They can always find a way to swipe at the ball as it's going in an upward motion. Now the swipe still is really effective but you just have to be careful at times. One mistake and if you hit their hand, the ref will call it. That's if he or she calls it. And also be aware of what type of player you are defending because if you catch yourself going up against a player similar to a James Harden, he will take advantage and they'll use your arm as bait to draw them a foul. That's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and follow me on my socials. I hope you guys continue to support and share. It's your boy JP. Till next time.